What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Cow for a Wild video or surf fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. You guys already know it. Now in this video we're going to be going after some big redfish, pompano, whiting, all the good species of fish that you catch out here on the surf that are good to eat. We're going to be going for those fish. A lot of people here in Pensacola, Florida have been catching a lot of redfish here recently. So I did happen to buy I bought a big mullet, as you can see. I got a big mullet from the local uh, tackle shop, Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a lot of that mullet up into big uh, chunks. I'm gonna be using some big old chunks of uh, mullet for redfish, and then I'll also have some shrimp, some peeled shrimp. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see how all these baits, you know, help us out, help us catch more fish. And uh, we're gonna get after it. It's been so long since I've got out here on the surf and that's some fishing. I'm gonna re-rig some of these leaders because the leaders are kind of frayed from last time whenever I went fishing. But uh, if you guys are new here and y'all like surf fishing here on the Gulf Coast, make sure to subscribe. I post all types of surf fishing videos here on the Gulf Coast. Check them out if you haven't already. And also drop a like on the video if you guys are new here. And uh, without further ado, no jibber jabbering. Let's go ahead and get into this episode of surf fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. It is absolutely gorgeous today. Look at this. So as you can see, this is where I'm fishing. We got all these breakers right here. So it's pretty shallow. We got a big bar that kind of extends out. And then right over here, we have this hole. So where the where the break where the waves stop breaking, there's a good little hole over there. So we're gonna put some baits in that hole. And we're also going to try to throw some past these breakers. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. We have a north wind, so we're, it, the wind's going to be on our side. But we're going to try to get some past those breakers. And then we're also going to fish in this little hole right there, as you guys can see. So yeah, let's get into it. So yeah guys, sorry about my GoPro. The audio for some reason in this was not working very good at all, but here you go. Uh, this is the bait I'm using. This is a big old chunk of cut mullet. I bought this mullet fresh from Gulf Breeze Bait and Tackle here in Pensacola, Florida. And as you can see, it's a pretty good chunk of mullet. I think I'm using a size three yacht circle hook. So yeah, I'm using a size three yacht circle hook and yeah, that seemed to get the job done. Cut mullet works fantastic. Now I do have, I think I have some bait fish that are trying to eat this uh, piece of mullet. And in the meantime, what I may end up doing is I may rig up this small rod. I may rig up the small rod and try to catch some whiting. I think I'm gonna do that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Redfish, I think. That's a redfish, come on baby, come back for it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, baby. Did he drop it? No, no, he's still there. He's still there. Come on, baby. Eat it. We're hooked up. Oh my goodness, look at that drag. All right, guys, so my audio, for some reason on my GoPro, was messing up this whole entire video. So I'm gonna have to do a little voiceover, but right here is where we hooked the redfish. And he is just screaming, screaming drag right now. So he's like absolutely screaming drag. And as I'm reeling in the fish, I try to like move my camera so that way I can get some better angles while I'm uh, reeling this guy in. And thank goodness that I did because this little clip of me and my GoPro actually ended up turning out pretty terrible just because the audio was so messed up. But uh, I fought this redfish for a pretty good bit. So I fought this redfish for a pretty good bit and uh, 
whenever he bit it, he didn't really bite the bait really aggressively. I, I was kind of using a pretty big piece of a uh, cut mullet. So I was using a pretty big piece of a uh, cut mullet. So that way, you know, I could just get a better um, scent in the water, but. Whenever you're using a big piece of cut bait like I was, you gotta really make sure that, that, that they eat it because whenever I reeled him in and I got the hook out, he was honestly still barely hooked as you guys will see towards the end of it. So um, make sure whenever you're using a pretty big piece of cut bait, whether it be cut mullet or any type of bait fish that you're using as cut bait, um, if you're using a big piece, just make sure that you give them enough time to actually eat it. Otherwise, they'll just pull the bait right out of their mouths. So I let this guy eat for about 10 seconds before I put any kind of pressure on him and uh, it seemed to get the job done even though he was still barely hooked. So right here, he's getting really close to the shore. Even though right now in Pensacola, Florida, it's not too, too cold. We, we've had a couple weekends now where it's got down to the 40s, maybe even the high 30s, but uh, it's still, the water's not warm right now, so I tried I tried my best to avoid getting in the water. Um, I wasn't that worried about it. I mean, obviously I was gonna have to get in the water a little bit to land this redfish, as you see now. And this redfish, I'll tell you what, this redfish was one of the prettiest redfish I've ever caught here in Pensacola, Florida. I caught a lot of them with, with, with the black spots, but this one was just absolutely covered in black spots. As you guys will see here later on, I'll get a better angle. Yes, sir. And of course, that bird's got the intestines of the mole I was using to do. That right there, barely hooked. Look at the spots on that guy. That right there is what we are at after. Look at the, look at the spots on that guy. Holy cow. Y'all check out that fish right there. That right there is what we are after. Look at the spots on them too. Look at that, look at that fish. That right there is what we're after. Big chunks of cut bait. I've never, I, this is probably the best redfish I've caught. Look at all the spots on them. That right there is a pretty redfish. That's what we're after. We're gonna go ahead and let this guy go. But that is what we're fishing for with those big chunks of mullet. One more shot. Let's go let him go. I always like to show the release of the fish. So uh, here we go. We're gonna carry this guy. I'm sorry I'm covering the camera up on this angle, but we're gonna go ahead and walk him down to the beach, toss him back, and he swam right off. This guy was really, really green still. I got him out. I got him out, got him back in the water as soon as I could. And uh, yeah, that, that's what we were after today. Big redfish on cut pieces of mullet. And sorry again for my GoPro. I wish you guys would have heard the drag that redfish was pulling, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching. That is what we're after right there. That was a freaking, that was a good fight from the beach here in Pensacola, Florida. Uh, we caught him on a big chunk of a uh, mullet, uh, you know, so the, I've really been wanting to come out here in the surf and try cut bait. Uh, normally I like to use live little finger mullet, but this time I decided it'd be a good idea just to see how good cut bait works on the, on the, uh, on the beach whether, whenever you're surf fishing. And uh, sure enough, you know, I put out a, a good chunk of fresh mullet. Make sure you get fresh mullet if you can. Um, our, our tackle shops here in the local area sell fresh mullet. So uh, make sure you go in there, don't buy it from the freezer. Ask them if they have a fresh mullet. And the one that I was actually using for bait was just caught probably, you know, this morning sometime. And, uh, I think one of my rods is getting a bite right now, the first, the very first one. But yeah, that was an awesome fight. That had to have been, like, as far as spots go, that redfish was, was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've never caught a redfish with that many spots. But uh, without further ado, I'm going to dump out the water in my boots. We're going to put new bait on. We're going to put another, another piece of cut mullet on this big rod right here behind me. Uh, this is actually a Daiwa FT surf rod, in case you guys are wondering. Very good surf rod, it's only like $20, but on, on a Shimano Saragosa reel, right there, 5,000. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and rebait everything and uh, see if we can catch another one. That was a pretty redfish. For all of you guys that fish, it's so 
um, rewarding whenever you actually go out there with a plan and the plan works and you execute on it. It's so fulfilling whenever, whenever that happens. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and rebate everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If y'all are enjoying it so far, make sure to give it a like. And heck, let's put on some more bait. Let's try to catch another fish. Maybe catch another redfish. Maybe catch a pompano. Y'all stay tuned. I caught that redfish right there in that hole. I was telling you guys, you see where the, where the breakers stop? So they're going, they're going, they're going. And there's a little deep hole where they're not breaking nearly as much as, you know, right here, for example. So if you go out, right there, there's a little hole. And that's what I caught that redfish in. And we also just had another bite over there on that reel. But um, let's go ahead and put some more baits out. Oh, Fred is still hanging around here. He's still hanging out. Look at him. He does not want to go anywhere but here. He's been hanging around me for about, since I got here, for about two hours now. And he's just, he's just chilling over here. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm really, I'm really bummed out about my GoPro audio. For some reason, my GoPro audio completely bugged out on me um, on this episode of Surf Fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. So I had to kind of do a voiceover on some of the scenes in there. But uh, sorry about that. Hopefully next video it'll be fixed. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry I haven't been surf fishing a, a whole lot. I've been having a lot of truck issues. But Monday is the final day that I will not have a truck. I will be having a truck Tuesday afternoon. And uh, we will be back and ready to go for the surf fishing season here in Pensacola, Florida. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, as always, make sure to drop a like on it. It really helps the video out and it uh, helps my channel out. I'll go ahead and put some more surf fishing videos on the screen right here and also a little icon on my channel. Click there to subscribe and also check out some of these surf fishing videos if you guys want to see more. Until then, I'll see you guys on another episode of Surf Fishing the Florida Gulf Coast. Peace out. Mm -hmm.